On this episode of Fun with Cars, we're going to modify and install a commercial wheelchair lift out of an old school bus into a passenger van for some DIY mobility. Once I got the lift home from the junkyard, I had to modify the length of the ramp to fit the height of the opening of the back door. Alright, modifying this wheelchair lift to fit a regular size Chevy van in the back of it, uh, I cut the platform where the safety lever is forward of that, so cut, try to cut straight across it, there is some it's a little wobble in a couple places, but I'm going to take eight inches out of this platform and then weld this piece back on. That's the plan. That'll give me enough room to fit in where the uh, doors are. Here's what it looks like with eight inches taken out of that. So that should fold up into the van, no problem. Okay, here we got the lift uh, cut, welded back into place. I put a coat of paint on there just to give it something to stop it from rusting. I welded that screen across. I probably could have just cut the screen off this part and then let that thing go long and weld it, but well, it is what it is now. So I'll let this coat of paint dry overnight. I think we got a plan for putting it in maybe tomorrow. Update, I just put a coat of paint on it so it looks pretty fresh and new. That cover still got to go on. I figured out a way to hang the controller in the seatbelt buckle slot. That buckle has to be connected in order for this machine to work. I did not know that. Sorry for the rapid movement. Just uh, giving it a once around. Look at that shine. Alright, that's it. Alright, we got it mounted in. We're going to give this its first run. Uh, we're going to turn the power on, and then with some assistance, uh, we're going to uh, try to let it come down. Okay. Out. Now, I don't know if it's going to, I don't think it's going to clear the bumper. Now, where does it drop at, though, what, what all drops? Oh, it still do it swinging, though. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Are oh, you kidding me? Oh, Are yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jake, that is awesome. Yeah. All the way down. Jake, you're cleared by three inches. Yeah. Sweet. All right, going up. Shut down the power and all right, Kaden, close this door. All right, get the other one. All right, closed. Good. So, I'm just going to show how I mounted this. I still got to put the cover on. I got a battery here. Look at Jaguar Land Rover battery. Nothing but the best. Uh, this I put we set in here we close the doors you know I marked originally where the door openings came back to but there's a little offset up here so we marked that out once we got the doors closed marked a couple spots put some self tappers in today I got brand new uh, carriage bolts drilled through put the carriage bolts in and now we got it mounted permanently so this is the fixed position of this so I'm going to demonstrate going up so we do have a little leak on the one return line but we'll figure that out alright so we deploy it 
ramp comes out. Let me go down. This, because we took off some weight here, let's get a step on. That was the uh, difference to get that going. Now, it should raise, now that I'm standing on here, we go up. Goes that way. And we would go in. So, we go down. Operates real smooth. See the new bolts in there? Folded the carpet so we can get over it. Now, it goes up. Then we stow it. And then, now we hook this. There's a uh, seat belt that comes undone. Then the controller sits where the seatbelt does. We disconnect the power and we're in business. And we close the door. One and two. Done. Alright, so this is what I did here. We got a we got a switch here. Okay. That we turn on. That gives it power. The battery I put right there. I got a little uh mini garden battery to power this up which works fine and shut it off so that's what I that was the final doing